So at that point, I kid you not, I'm like, I should have grabbed the other Elgato. Should have grabbed the USB 3 one. I wouldn't have had this issue then. And until I found out what it was, uh, what the issue was, I ended up going like, okay. So I know for a fact I'm going to need internet no matter what on my computer, so I'm going to put it where it is. And I'm going to go and put on the slot that it changes between the PCIe and the uh, M.2. I'm going to have that one be the Elgato. So when I need to record, let's... Uh, so in that case, if I needed to record the Crown Tundra, I would just not have my Steam games. That's all that meant. And if I wanted my Steam games, again, because I'm going to record them, I would have to go... Uh, back into uh, my settings and switch it so though it can now load back those uh, it would need to go back and load those uh, games again it would need to go and load the drive again and I thought that's a very that's a very interesting thing and that means I don't have to keep carrying my case over to a table and and open it up and then change it again and then go ugh I have to do it again <laughs> And one of the few things that I kind of want to do, and I'm now trying to get it all situated and ready to go, is trying to get the full streaming setup ready. Uh, that's going to take a long time, though. I can definitely tell you that much. My goal is, uh, at least before when we reach uh, 2022, because it definitely knows not going to happen this year, but or it's going to happen really late this year, uh, I want to start streaming. I'm thinking that uh, have a few ideas of what I want to do with that, but I don't really know yet. But again, I have ideas, so it's that's all. That's always what's going to happen. Those I'm always going to have ideas of how to do that stuff, like of what things I want to do. So that's fine. Okay, I just kind of want to reach the end, buddy. I don't even want to fight anything anymore. I just want to reach the end. <laughs> I say that, but I have to fight these things. Yeah. I cannot do that. Is this the end? You think you know anguish? Soon my concubine will show you. No. Yeah, so one of the few things that I, uh, that is going to be a future plan and that is in the works, I just need to try and figure out how exactly it's going to work. I have an idea, but I need to know how far it will go and how reliable it is. So my one plan that I have right now, and again, I need to find out how reliable this is to the extent that uh, how I'm going to use it, right, is that we're going to start recording footage, uh, so like for like Oblivion modded playthrough. Okay. <laughs> I do hope you're not in over your head. Why must she be so disgusting? Mm-hmm, <laughs> okay. Is that uh, for some of the series, is I want to kind of uh, have them being recorded through Cube. Now, there are a few series that actually uh, will not be, uh, obviously, be recorded through Cube, as Cube is a, t a smaller computer kind of thing where it won't be able to do some of this stuff, plus Cube also has another sort of thing for one of them, so it kind of makes sense. So I want Cube to be the main recording PC kind of thing, so playing like Oblivion, uh, Borderlands 3, Skyrim eventually, Enderol, 
all that kind of stuff though. Ember is still planned to kind of be played. I'm just waiting for Oblivion Mother playthrough to kind of be finished before I start playing that kind of thing. And all that other stuff, I want all of them to be recorded from Cube. Cube is going to be the one that they're all, all that footage is going to be coming from. But in terms of Nintendo Switch games, as this one is, and all of the other ones, and not just that, for Circuit Craft as well, um, the editing PC slash the one that I'm currently using right now is going to be the one that's going to be recording those now. Now for... Now for Nintendo Switch, it's kind of obvious, is because Elgato I'm afraid can't not. technically be on, uh, can't technically be on the editing, or can't technically go into Cube because it doesn't have, because Cube doesn't have an extra slot for it. Not only that, though, it's because, um, if Cube had, like, an internal, no. uh, like, graphics, like, discrete thing kind of thing, similar to how like my laptop kind of thing was uh i i would be like yeah you know cube's gonna have a little bit of everything attached to it no cube can't do everything for that and the reason why for sarah craft is because cube has the server and from my experience especially for the laptop i knew for a fact that like the game not the game, but the server itself doesn't like it when you're playing the game with the server. Then again, I'm using like an old laptop's hardware to kind of justify this point kind of thing. And plus, it's just much easier just to have two different computers doing it rather than just one. Can you stop spitting fire on my ground? Thank you. I cannot do that. But yeah, like that's that's like the current plan kind of thing. Now the reason why that's not the, not happening right away is because Cube has a um, I don't know how to word it. It's more so like an entry level GPU kind of thing. Like this, like the one that this computer has is comparable to like I want to say a 1080. I think it's more close to it than an RTX card. I want to say. Oh. Uh. Things I'm going to do to you. Ugh. You have interesting taste. But yeah, but I I would kind of think of it more of like a comparable to like a a 1080 kind of thing. But like like that's that's not an entry level GPU. That's like a kind of high end. My mind well, is my own. And I got it kind of thing. But like. If I were to kind of look at it, uh, like look at the one that I got for a cube, I'd be surprised if it can even load Borderlands 3, or even load it at like a good frame rate kind of thing. Now, I know that my uh, gaming laptop has a... It has a discrete 1050, I think, in it. I think it's 1050? See, the 1050 or 1060 or something like that. It, it's something around there. And it was struggling. Like, I got lag here and there, which is which was fine to me, because a little lag here and there is nothing too bad for me as a gamer kind of thing. Or as a person just playing the game, right? You're probably going to notice a little bit lag here and there kind of thing. Uh, but there was uh, two problems. One is that the only way for my laptop right here, right next to me, still right next to me, uh, to load the uh, 1050 or 1060 card, whichever one it is, I forget which one it is. I want to say 1050 though. Uh, for it to load that card, I have to have it plugged in and charging. And that was the only way I could play Borderlands 3. If I had it using the Intel graphics, the game pretty much could barely load its load through the intro screen. Mind you, this computer also had very few issues with it too, but I think that's just an AMD thing. It's not even like a Borderlands 3 thing because it, it always happened. No. And it and it, and it always told me that you might want to upgrade your graphics card, and, my, and I'm like, but my graphics card is up to date. It always was when you first boot it up, and then when you second boot it up, it's like, yeah, complete fine. Uh, 
don't know, recording that thing wasn't as bad as Nerum. Like, Borderlands 3 never crashed while I was playing it. It crashed when I booted it up. Half the time, so I was like, okay, whatever, it's fine. Are we done? Is this the boss? So yeah, so sorry for talking about uh, Cube and well, what I like to call this computer, monochrome, because it's a it's a, it's a white case with a little bit of black here and there. Well, it's got a black front and I think a little bit of a lot of the components in, dot, in, in it are oh, black. Oh yes, I've been looking forward to this. And the cube's a little bit inverted. Mind you, it doesn't have much white in it, actually. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It has a little bit of white. I think the only thing that's actually fully white, I think, is the RAM. Exactly. That's it. It's the same one as this one. It's, it's just slightly better. And that's it. I fear I may have to take you it has, a, I think, slightly better frequency, and that's, I think, the only difference. You know. Other than the you color, of course. Make me bow to the likes of I cannot do that. <sighs> oh my god, we were in a boss fight? <laughs> I got a heart pattern from this? What? Okay. Any extra? Nope. Alright. That is not possible. My corpse lance dealt with it. Okay, that's I think the last one, right? There's either two or three of them. Yeah. Now I forget, do we go straight and fight this guy? Or not? Ash chokes the air and our enemies come for us in droves. But mm. you are undaunted. This is where Asmodan's evil thrives and festers. Not for long. Well, I think that's gonna be kinda it for now. I kind of don't want to go too forward because we're really running low on time. Uh, I mean, I'm going to double check, of course. I'm just checking my items here. Seeing if any of them are a lot better than what I'm currently holding. Right now, nothing really. Didn't I pick up a legendary item? Yeah, I didn't really... Oops, I didn't really like identify it though. That's a two-handed scythe? It looks like a dagger. Never mind, that looks like a a spear. Or no, what what's it what's it called? There's a It's not a spear, it's um Oh maybe it is a spear, I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to think it's called something else, but I'm wrong. Oh, uh, anything else you can hold? A lovely piece. Nope. That's pretty much it. Alright, we're going back. I'm gonna double check through this because I don't know, there might be something in there. Equipped. And there's the train stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much mostly everything I we can kind of do right now. I think we're almost done Act 3 anyway. Day 9. Young Commander Calderos believes that the demonic scourge will flee before a bloody show of right is forced. He intends to lead a charge from our fortifications tomorrow. Calderos can commit suicide by stupidity if he wants. But I'll be damned if I send my lads with him. Yeah, because I think we're getting very close. We're almost done Act 3. Then there's Act 4. And then that's m pretty much it for Diablo 3. For the base game. I'm not talking about the DLCs and all that such. But, uh, 
Yeah. Or at least the DLCs that this game came with. So uh, yeah, that's about it for now. Next time we will pretty much finish Act 3. And we will probably start Act 4. Uh, I don't know how far Act 4 we're going to be able to get to. I don't really know. I'm trying to think, like, how far we are now. Because we should be... Actually, I think there's, like, maybe, like, 10, 20 minutes of Act 3. Then we might be able to... Depending on how short Act 4 is, we might be able to finish Act 4. But then there, I know Act 5 is going to be a lot of fun and very stressful. Because I know how difficult that is. Even when I think I was doing a little bit of uh, something daily, I think, for it, I was having a rough time with it but uh yeah so i will see you guys next time for some more diablo 3